At WING, the Policy, Regulatory, and Community Affairs team is a diverse group of really interesting people that do interesting things. My job as the Aviation Regulatory Lead is, of course, to focus on external entities such as regulators and those who impact regulators and also with the aviation community in general. My job is much more directly aviation focused and the people who work for and with me do a tremendous job of keeping those relationships strong, making sure that WING is out in front in terms of what we're providing, how we're being helpful, making sure that whatever we do benefits not only WING but the industry at large or even the regulator in some cases to help them get to a point to where they can say yes in, in a confident way. But the overall policy team sets a much larger framework than that. So I'm focused very much on the regulatory component, but there are so many other things that move the needle for integrating UAS into the various airspace fabrics across the world. And the first clearly is the value proposition how simple and how easy it is to have something delivered to your home. So it's our job to make sure that they have access to that service, that they begin to use that service, they have a positive experience with that service, in that case, will drive hopefully towards greater and greater demand for that service. Just like with phones in your pocket, there's a lot of things that we do on our phones that we didn't imagine we'd do many years ago, but first we had to get phones in people's pockets. And you do that by providing utility, right? And so it's our hope that as we provide that service, that convenience at a reasonable price point, that people will continue to prefer to have their goods delivered by drone where they can because it's safer. They're not having to get in their cars and risk the lives of themselves and their family and others, reducing carbon footprint. So many great benefits to society that, that come from this, right? So that value proposition is definitely number one. Another thing that we have to be able to do, and, and it's linked closely with value proposition, is sway public acceptance, right? Begin to influence that in a very positive way. And we do that essentially by doing what we do because the service in most cases speaks for itself. It's convenient, it's fast, it's relatively cheap, it's environmentally friendly, you get what you need when you need it, and you don't have to plan out two, three days in order to do that. So many convenience options uh, that come to you at a cost that in some cases is less than you would pay to have something delivered from a warehouse. And so our prime limitation right now is being able to get the service to as many locations as possible so that people can enjoy those benefits and then that in turn begets demand and it's this nice circular positive situation to where people are finding like, why isn't this in my neighborhood? I'm hearing about it from my friends, I'd sure love to have it myself. And our answer would like to be, well, September, we're gonna be in your neighborhood. So I look forward to that.